Hi, and welcome to Simply Bee's Kid of the Month Club. My name is Erica. Today, we will be working on turquoise and silver. This kit features real turquoise in a necklace, earrings, and a bracelet. For this kit, you will need your 4-in-1 tool, beading mat, and a ruler. As you can see, I have laid my beads out on my beading mat, just like in my leaflet. You can do the same designs in your leaflet, or you can design your necklace your own way. Please refer to your beading guide for average story lengths. To begin stringing, with one end of my beading wire, I'm going to string my crimp tube. I am also going to string a split ring. I'm going to pull the tail of the wire around and take it back through my crimp tube. This creates a loop that the split ring will hang on. Holding the tails, keeping a short tail, pull the long tail until the loop is small, but the ring flows freely. With your 4-in-1 tool, grasp the crimp tube and flatten. You can either trim this tail or string your beads over it. Now I'm going to string my design. As you can see, I'm stringing my beads over my tail. Now that I've strung my entire design, I'm ready to crimp the second end. I'm going to string my crimp bead and my split ring, pull my tail, and thread the tail back through the crimp tube. I'm going to insert my 4-in-1 tool and pull on my small tail. Lifting my necklace off the surface slightly I'm just making sure I've got all the slack out of my necklace. Now, pinching the wire in between my pointer finger and my thumb against the beads, I'm going to flatten my crimp tube. I'm now going to thread my wire back through a few beads and trim. We're now going to add our carabiner to our necklace. This will act as our clasp. In your leaflet, we give you instructions on how to make your own beaded clasp. If you'd rather not, you can use a lobster claw instead. To create your bracelet, lay out your beads and follow the same steps as the necklace. Secure a split ring with a crimp bead on one end. String the design and secure your clasp on the opposite end. To create your own clasp, you will need one head pin, four four millimeter round turquoise beads, and six inches of your craft wire. If your craft wire is a little wavy or a little too crooked, you can run it along the edge of your 4-in-1 tool and that will help to straighten it out. Onto your head pin, string four 4 millimeter round turquoise beads. Without bending or cutting or trimming, we are going to roll a simple loop onto the top. Grasp the top of the head pin, roll it down into a loop. Now you have something that sort of looks like a pea. With your 4-in-1 tool, Insert one nose into your loop and put the other one at the junction where the wire meets the pin. And give a little bend until your loop is straight. Now that we've beaded our pin and created our simple loop at the top, we'll take our six inch piece of wire with our loop we're going to wrap the wire around the base of the loop, 
three times. You can see that my wrap isn't quite at the base. I'm just going to lift this end up a little bit and push it down. Now push down your first turquoise bead, pull the wire around, and wrap three times. Do the same with the remaining turquoise beads, wrapping three times after you push down each one. With the last turquoise bead, pull it down and wrap around the pin once or twice. Trim the pin to about a quarter of an inch above the last wrap. Fold the pin down in half. If you need to, you can use your loop closing section. If you need to trim a little more, pull it back open and trim. Wrap the remaining length of the pin in wire. You can trim the excess wire. If you end up with a little tail, use your 4 one tool to kind of push that in. Go ahead and trim the tail on the second side, on the first end. As you can see, I've beaded my pin and wrapped the wire. I have a simple loop here. I'm going to bend this now over my finger. This will create the hook. Bend the end in just a little bit so it comes around. Now that I've created my clasp, or if you decide to use the lobster claw, once you are finished stringing your design of your bracelet, string your crimp tube, the loop of whichever clasp you choose, and thread the tail back through the crimp tube. You can use your 4-in-1 tool or the clasp itself to pull the wire. Lift the piece off of the table to pull the tension out, and continue to pull your wire. Hold your wire against the beads and flatten your crimp tube. String the tail back through a few beads. Then trim. Now you've created your bracelet. Isn't this great? Now we're going to create our earrings. Start by stringing your beads on a head pin. Create a simple loop above the top bead. To create a simple loop, place your thumb at the top of the bead against the pin holding the bead down and pull the wire across the top of your thumb. This will create a nice 90 degree angle. Trim your wire. Place the tip of your wire back into your 4 in 1 tool and roll the wire. Now. To attach the earring to an ear post, simply twist open the loop and string an ear post. Swing the loop closed again. We're going to repeat those steps for our second earring. Thank you for meeting with me today, and I hope you enjoy Turquoise and Silver. <laughs>